images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. Hey, Omi. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? I'm doing good, and you? Really great. I'm really great, teacher. Thank you. Did you have a good weekend, Omi? Um, really, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, my, my weekend, that's great. Tell me, what happened? You sound very good. It sounds very happy. Uh, because uh, we have a party in my house. Ah, the parties are always good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> what's so good, so nice. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, glad to hear that. Great, and everybody else, <laughs> how was your weekend? Romulo, David, Arturo? Uh, it was a great time, teacher, with my partners. I went to the to the beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. On Saturday. Well, that's good, huh? Enjoying the beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Arturo and David, how about you? What did you guys do? I had a good time with my family too. And and work. <laughs> Saturday I'm the, the the work. But Sunday with my family. Okay. All right. And Saturday you work all day, Arturo. Just the morning. And at noon I I finish. Okay, okay, good. And David and Bane, how was your weekend? Hi. Uh, it was fine. In my case, I stayed home and I went to visit to my aunt. And uh, yeah, nothing special, only <laughs> staying <at> home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> To, to come with you, or to share with you. Okay. <laughs> Basically, I stay at home. Today, mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead, Dave. I was gonna say this is the this no, is the no. normal routine now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I will say that I continue in quarantine. Basically, basically, this is the life now, right? Did you notice? Me? <laughs> yeah. It's not like Romulo yeah. that goes to the beach and uh, only that has a party <laughs> or something like this. No, no. The, the normal is stay at home. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. It's good that we have it. Um, well, and I hope everybody had the opportunity, even with relaxing and going to the beach and partying. I hope you had the opportunity to do the test, unit three. The, um, I know some of you, maybe you didn't have a chance to complete it. Remember, it's, it's possible to do section by section. If you don't have time to complete all of the exam, you can do section A and then section B, little by little. But the important is at least the lessons are complete for unit three. That way you don't have to continue backing up and backing up and say, oh my God, I have lesson two, I have lesson three. Now this week we are in lesson four because then you're going to feel a lot of stress and a lot of pressure later when you're trying to complete all of the exercises at once. Okay. Were there any questions, anything that wasn't clear? I know we went more or less over the ideas before, but are there any questions or anything that's not clear about the exam or in the platform, a, a different lesson or a different unit? No, everything was clear. I just found some uh, mistakes in the platform. Obviously, I, I think that is normal, but for the other thing, everything was clear. Okay. Okay, good. Yes, last Hello, one. teacher. Yes, go ahead, Bessie. Uh, we have problems right over here in the platform. 
in the exercise, let me check, I'm going to tell you. In the, let me see, letter B. Oh, maybe I'm, I'm going to ask you in a few minutes. Okay, you look for it and then you ask me in a few minutes. Now in the platform. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank no, you. Sure thing. Anybody else? Me, teacher, I, I, I had a problem with the one, one question and there, I don't remember it's exactly that. Uh, Ian Fleming, novels, the sentences, but I, I don't know if I, I tried to, for different way to, to do, but uh, the platform always the result is wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> Okay. In in, in I don't know if you see I'm playing, but in, in that section that the and the clausulus uh clausulus results is that but it's not in the exam, Romulo. Yeah, in the exam. Okay. Uh, let, what, what question? Let me let me take a look. Hang on, maybe we can find it together. Uh -huh. Okay. I also have a problem in the rewriting section. I put all the possible ways and always uh, finish with a, a wrong answer. Let's yeah. see. Okay. Let me make sure we're so that we all have the same information. Okay. Here we're looking at the rewriting section, correct? Letter B. This is the, where we're having more difficulties. Let's take a look, okay? Rewrite the sentence as passive sentences with by, mm -hmm. okay? So, George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies, okay? Or which, which question in particular um, was the one that you found or more difficult or you couldn't, or is it all of them? For me, for me teacher, two and a half men, two, Okay, let's take a look, two and a half men. It's the same in my case. This that one right here? Yeah. Okay. I think that the problem is that the the first question, oh, well, the sentence is wrong. Con, if you could read it slowly, you can find a, a mistake in the sentence. Uh, I could check it and I change it and I could get the, well, I could got the, 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 the correct answer. Let me see. Because if you if you read two and a half men in a popular, I think that is a popular TV show. Yes, it's a popular TV show. Yeah, that's. And, and what do you think we use? Who, that, mistake. or which? I put that, but could be which, yeah. which that. Uh, well, let's try with that first, and then we'll see. Okay. That stars. Charlie. Shame. Let's take a look at this one. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. It's correct? It's cor yeah, it's correct. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Vane and Romulo. I don't know what you write. Uribe, Uribe, Mr. Uribe <laughs> says correct, but it didn't. But uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't found this, this mistake in his I, yeah, think that's the mistake. This, I think the mistake mm -hmm. is for here, for the, for the yeah. word in, in the in. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. What is, uh-huh. that moment. <laughs> I put Good, that, I is that a star is, that was my mistake. Ah. That a star is Charlie Sheen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you put the is after stars. Yes. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, that would have been the mistake. But thank you. <laughs> Just only also when you put it in, I, I don't know if it's, if it's going to be correct if you don't put the period. So make sure that you put the period because for me, it was the correct with the period. Yeah, it is correct. If you don't put the period, the answer will be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a problem with the platform. When you, when you put in the, the word or the, the, the sentence, everything is correct, but you don't have the correct punctuation, 
N is yeah. the same. They they put wrong like if you have everything wrong. Uh, really, and that was a really challenge because the picture is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Um, any other questions? I think that was the the big one, right? That the one that was the the one that gave the most problems. But now everybody can go ahead and fix it. Is for the mistake. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, in that case, today we're going to be looking at um, starting Unit 4. In Unit 4, our focus is going to be feelings and gestures, okay? So we're going to be taking a look at, um, the objective is to be able to describe feelings and gestures, okay? What's the difference? Feelings are emotional. Uh, you don't, you, you feel internally, and gestures are what you do. He's scratching his head. So, for example, here in this com in this part, we have a lot of words for feelings and gestures. All of these are gestures. He's biting his nails, he's rolling his eyes, he's scratching his head, he's tapping his foot, he's swirling his hair, okay, and he's wrinkling his nose. First, let's match those to the pictures. Okay, number one, he's biting his nails is which one? Letter D. Letter D, correct. Good. What about he's rolling his eyes? D. Letter C. Yeah, I, I think you can see the letters there, but sometimes it's not so clear, so we're just making sure. He's scratching, ah. his, he's scratching his head? Letter A. Uh -huh, letter A. Letter F, letter F. Mm -hmm. He's tapping his foot. Letter E. Correct, letter E. Mm -hmm. He's swirling his hair. Letter A. Letter A. A. A is like swirling is like making a twist when when they people play with their finger. They're, this is twirling. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the last one, he's wrinkling his nose. Letter B. Letter B, that's right. It's when the nose makes the little lines. That's wrinkling, wrinkling his nose. Okay. Now, all of those are gestures. Those gestures many times accompany a feeling. In letter B, we can see we have many different feelings. Okay. Do you know what those feelings are? Let, let teacher letter B which here which, in this is, part in this part right here in letter B in the group work we have a lot of words for example for the feelings like annoyed bored confused disgusted embarrassed exhausted frustrated impatient irritated and nervous It's okay, all of those, or no? Yeah, if everybody's quiet, I, I assume that yes, it's okay then. <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect, okay. So what are we gonna be looking at? We're gonna be talking about body language with modals and adverbs. So body language is what you do with your body. Modals are the words that are changed for each sentence like may, might, could, should, would. Those are the modals. And then the adverbs are all of the words that modify a verb. Usually is the ones that finish with ly, like quickly, slowly, um, but sometimes they are irregular, like fast, okay? So those are some of the ones that we're gonna be looking at. Okay. It's okay, what are modals? What are adverbs? 
teacher, please explain again what is models. Okay, models here, this word models, are things that help modify a sentence. They usually they give you the idea of the percentage. Um, they can give uh, all of the ideas for 100% to 0% or they can give recommendations. As an example, you should complete unit three uh, exam today. This is a recommendation, it's a model, okay? When you ask for permission, it's like um, may or might, or, or when you, you say it's possible, it's sorry, it's a possibility. Oh, I might go to the movies. I may go to the movies. When you are, uh, when you are certain, when you are 100%, ah, then it's must. Oh, he must be sick or he must have um, seen a monster, okay? These are all of the ones that we have that are models. Models, we have many different ones and they change. They change the, the level of certainty that we have. Okay. So we have 100% like must and zero is couldn't. Okay, so that couldn't be my mother or that couldn't be uh, my friend is zero percent. Or if you say that must be is 100%. Is that okay? Yeah, teacher, it's okay. All right, well, well we're gonna see some, so you don't have to worry because we're still gonna get an idea of what they are and what we're talking about, okay? So here we're looking at what it might be. Welcome back. Listen to the conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. He seems really nice. He seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from... Okay. So if we see, we're using many different ones, okay? So we're assuming, okay? Like, it's kind of like when we say maybe, or, uh, you know, actually sometimes, we have all of these different words that we use to modify the sentence. The reason we use them is because it gives more certainty or it gives us uh, a better understanding of what the person means. So it's kind of like uh, maybe, uh, maybe you, when you use it, you know that the person is not certain that maybe yes or maybe no. That's why they say maybe, right? Or if they use the word could, the word could as a motto is, a, is an option. It's a possibility. It could mean this is, is possible this or is possible another thing? That's the idea of could. Are those okay, those, those ideas? Um, I think we had seen previously some of these, but I don't think we had too many of them. Okay, let me put here in our chat then to make sure that we got a better understanding Okay, so let's see we have, for example, must, okay? So when we use must, it's going to represent for us an idea of 100%, right? If we use the word couldn't, okay, we'll go with the easier ones first, okay? 
is going to represent 0%. Okay? So if you didn't eat all day, imagine the person did not eat, no breakfast, no lunch, nothing. Okay? So then we use the model to assume, ah, you must be hungry is 100% because if you don't eat for one day, it's guaranteed you are hungry, okay? But imagine if you finish eating five minutes ago, five minutes ago you finish eating, ah, then it's impossible because you, you finish eating, ah, so then you couldn't be hungry. This is 0% that you are hungry. But if you have breakfast at eight o'clock, Okay, and then is 10 o'clock or no, it is 11 o'clock. Ah, okay, it's possible, it's possible to be hungry. So then, here we use the, the model verb might. You might be hungry, okay, or in a formal way, we can also say you may be hungry if we're talking a little bit more formal. Okay, now, if I give my opinion, if I give my recommendation to you, then I put in the word should. For example, should and then the action. You should eat, you should eat breakfast, you should eat dinner, you should eat whatever I want, but this is my recommendation. So, these are the ideas of models in case we forgot, must, is 100%, couldn't is 0%, might and may are synonyms, they're similar, and they are like the word maybe, okay? Maybe yes, maybe no, they are like maybe. And then the word should is I recommend, is another way to say I recommend or my opinion. My opinion is this, or I recommend this. It's okay, all of those in the chat? For me, it's, it's okay, teacher. Does that help you a little bit more to, to remember, to understand how we use them? Okay. All right. Don't worry, that's just the main idea for it. I'm going to share with you um, just a moment, but can you think of any other modal verbs that you use or that we might use? Can you think of other ones that uh, maybe you have heard of? And this is a model teacher sometimes use like, like a model. Can. Well, nobody can think of other ones? Repeat, please. What about the word would? Have you heard the word would? And you say may. Does anybody know when we use would? Yes, I will. Um, for example, um, would. Okay, would is to say what I do in your position. Okay, so normally is we say like the example, I would, I would eat or I would go. This is what I, rec what I do in your situation. Okay, when you say should is what you tell the other person to do. But would is what you do in the situation. Is that okay? Any questions on that? It's okay. No, I don't hear anybody, so. Uh, teacher, do you- Teacher, you can imagine. hear us. Yes, teacher. I think. Uh, I teacher, think the teacher I say, is For example, I hear you say may. And can. Maybe you don't hear me because you are very quiet today. I, I think teacher, uh, 
another models is no made. it's okay for everyone or no i think <laughs> I think the teacher is, can hear us. The teacher ah, can hear us. Yes, I can hear us. Teacher. Okay, I assume. I assume yes, because everybody's <laughs> like mute. Maybe it's teacher. everybody's the microphone is is in mute. I don't know. No teacher. No. I can't hear you at all. No. 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 Check check the headphone. Are you speaking? Teacher. I can't hear anybody. Check the speaker. Or yes, the you guys are talking. I don't know. Hello, teacher. Teacher, I talk a lot today. <laughs> Let me try one more time. Pobrecito, porque pensó que no, que no queríamos hablar. Yes. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you, yes? yes. We can yes. hear you, teacher. I, I hear you. Can you hear? We can hear you. I can hear you, but I don't know what happened. I, I'm looking and I see that everybody's looking and quiet and I see. Oh. Uh huh. And I think, good. what happened? And no, all, all talk, but, but you don't hear us. Don't. Uh, uh -huh, don't hear. I thank say, you. for example, another model teacher, you say may and, and can. Yes. Ah, very good. Can. Can is another one. It's very common to use can. Mm -hmm. Very common. Yes. yes, and it's but, very, very common, especially with a common or informal English, because they don't use may. It's no, may I go to the bathroom? May I use your pen? No, the normal is can. Can I use your pen? Can I use your phone? Can I, can I go to the bathroom? This very good. Can. Can is another one. Okay. The may is most polite, right? That is correct. May is more polite. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in the model, have? No. You have to eat? No, have is not a model. It's, it's, um, it's a little bit different. It's, um, they use it as an auxiliary or it's used as an obligation, but not a model. The model mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Will? Thank you. Will? Yes. Would. Yes, yes, yes. Like would. Mm -hmm. Would. Mm -hmm. Would. That, that's that's what uh, uh, but, but, I want to ask. And um, will and will are I've seen them. Uh, more or less is yes, but will is the future and would is the past. For example. Okay. So, for example, I will go to the beach this weekend. Okay, that is the auxiliary will. But when you say, for example, I would, okay, I would go to the to the beach, is ah, uh, I I do this, but something else happened. I would go, but I don't have money, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is usually you use would as an excuse, or you use to explain a situation. Oh, okay, like a like a. A possibility, a possibility. Yes, similar, similar to one. Okay. Okay. So in in this moment, what we're going to do is, I'm gonna show you better. It's easier. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a video, of what's going on and what happens with different ones and which ones that what are the different meanings that they have. Okay. That way you can see an example of each one and when. What is the function or what's the usage for each one? Okay. So let's take a look at a couple of them here. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, 
might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. So, here we can see what we're talking about. That it goes from a little possibility, which is a slight possibility, to a strong or an obligation, such as the small possibility might or may. So, so could and definitely is must. This is for models. But we can also use adverbs to have the same meaning, like maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, or if we are certain, definitely. Are we okay for there? Yes, teacher, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, all right. Now, we can also see, okay, when we're not sure about the meaning, we use might, may, or could, just to help us remember. So if you are not sure, if you are uncertain, then you can use any of those three. Might, may, or could. So tomorrow, are you going to go to work? I don't know, I might, I may, or I could. But if you are sure, then yes, I must go to work. Okay, or what someone mentioned earlier, I think it was Arturo, is an obligation, I have to go to work. Okay, then we also have here, adverbs. Adverbs are similar to the models, but okay, that we don't need to accompany them with something else. Here we just say the words, maybe, perhaps, possibly, and probably. It's similar for in order, maybe, and perhaps, possibly, and probably. Probably means you are still not certain, but this is the most likely situation. This is what you think is going to happen or you, what you're going to do. This would be probably. Okay. Those are. So, one more time. We always use, if we can take a look, we use the base form. With models, never we use the third, the third person. Never we use an S. It doesn't matter who it is. We don't say she might uh, goes or means or eats. Always, always you use might, may, could, or must. You use the verb normally. But with adverbs, no. The adverbs, you change according to the situation. If it's he, she, it, then the verb with S. Mm -hmm. And the last thing that was important is when they mention here, where they go. So we use maybe and perhaps at the beginning. So maybe I'll go to the beach. It's never correct in the middle. Never you say, oh, I maybe go to the beach. No, probably, okay, or perhaps we put at the beginning, sorry. So we use maybe and perhaps at the beginning. And then the other ones we can use afterwards. I probably will go to the beach. I definitely will study for the exam. Okay. Are there any questions for any of those at, at this moment? No, it's just, we just need to practice then, right? Okay. 
Yes. Or any, or did anybody have any questions about any of those? No. Okay, then I assume that we're okay. So let's, let's try before we go into our groups, let's make sure. Let's say I want to use the word must, okay? How can I use must? When it uh, uh, a hundred percent in the in the I think in the correct way, no, in a hundred percent you you got the, the idea. Right. Yeah, that's right. Must is the hundred percent. So let's make a sentence with it. How would we make a sentence with must? Like a song. Mm. Must have been love. <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. I must it must have been. Okay, good. So you assume I must I must work tomorrow. Perfect. That's another one. I must work tomorrow. Exactly. It's an obligation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I know some of you are on your cell phone, so I'm going to take a picture and put, we want to use all of these into different sentences. So hang on, let me take the picture and then we'll make the groups so that it's clear. And that way you don't confuse. I'll take the pictures for all of them. That way, in case you get confused when we use it or when we're not sure about something, you can refer to the images. And what are we going to do in our group? In our group, the idea is to use all of them. So we want to use both the morals and the adverbs to make sure they're clear, okay? Okay. I think I got almost all the pictures because I know some of you are in the in the cell phone and sometimes it's difficult to to switch between the cell phones and the and the other activities. What I put here. All right. So you need to make a sentence with each one, not explaining it, but make sentences with it. So you're going to use the ideas for might, may, could, must, okay? And you're going to use maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, okay, definitely, all of those, all the ones that I've sent you in the pictures, those are the ones that we're going to use. and how to uh, talk with uh, with modify the sentence for example I must <coughs> memorize all the grammar rules all the grammar English rules I must uh, I must memorize all these rules uh, okay a, a please Give me an example. You use um, other models. Maybe use a uh, call. Um, for example, I call use your car tomorrow. Okay. 
Um, my second sentence is, I definitely, I definitely can um, ride b bike, bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. What we can do. <laughs> okay. So, Fabi, what we're going to do is you're going to make sentences with each of those. So, for example, Romulo makes one with might, you make one with may. He makes one with could, you make one with must. He makes one with maybe, you make one with perhaps. You're going to use each of those uh, for describing slight possibility to strong possibility. Remember, the last two, the word must and definitely really are almost like a hundred percent so okay. that's the idea so uh, we're not going to use them as obligations so is the idea is a little bit and that's why they're different than verbs because models change for the situation an obligation for example is i must brush my teeth okay it's an obligation or i must okay. go to work but when we're talking about possibility is, um, imagine Romulo is, is wet. He has water on his hair. Ah, now it's a possibility. It's a strong possibility, not an obligation. It must be raining. Yeah, okay. Does that uh, make sense? Make a sentence, right, teacher? That's right, that's right. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, I, th I think the most difficult one is probably must because must is the one that we use many times like an obligation like it's a mandatory right yeah this is the most common usage the most common usage is mandatory but here is not mandatory here is like a possibility yeah okay uh... Abby for you it's okay also also <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay for example i, I try to, to 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 give an example okay uh, fabiola i could i couldn't sleep uh, last night i i might uh, sleep uh, i no i might take a, a nap in the afternoon correct that is correct that's right because you're not sure it's a possibility and must? I don't know. Romulo yeah. didn't say must. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ah, so for me and you, for, for example, for me and you, Fabiola, we can use must. We assume. Think of must as assuming. Ah, Romulo must be tired because he didn't sleep. Okay. This okay. Is, it's not an obligation. It's not an obligation to be tired, but it's a strong possibility that he's tired. Yeah, yeah. Or if you eat, if you go to a restaurant or to, maybe maybe you go to Romulo's house and you have two plates or three plates of food. Oh, the food must be good. It's a strong okay. possibility, mm -hmm, like this. Okay. Okay. And might and could, it's like a should. No, no, no. Should is like maybe. My, they're like maybe, not not should. Should is your opinion. The uh, okay. Should is the recommendation. Okay. Mm -hmm. another, another example, Fabiola. I I just uh, finished the my exercise, my routine exercise. You can. You can say me, uh, Romulo, you must drink water, right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that you, uh, you assume that if I, 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 I am, I need to, eat, I need to drink water because I, oh, I am dirty. dirty? Thirsty. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 I'll let you practice. Good. 
Yes. If I can get a better job. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I must leave the leave the work or leave before the clock is uh, strike the five. Or I must leave the work uh, before the clock uh, is five. Like like that, teacher. I, I, the idea. So so, Cesar, you are you are right. Your okay. sentence is correct. Is one hundred percent correct. Okay, but, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And but but wait, Cesar. But there's a difference between must for obligation and, and must for probabilities. Okay. Your sentence is correct. Is correct grammatically. Is correct for the meaning and everything. But your sentence is for obligation, okay. not not for probability. Okay. The probability you have to think of is like assumption, an assumption. Do you remember when I was speaking and nobody, and I didn't hear? I didn't hear anyone? Yes, I remember. Okay, so here is an assumption. You and the partner say, oh, the teacher must not hear us. The oh. teacher must have technical problems. It's not obligation to have technical problems. It's assumption to have this is the different must yes, and th this is the problem with models because the model is the same model but change the meaning for the different situations yes it's clear it's clear okay yes it's clear in mass okay good good i let you practice good okay thank you teacher. you're welcome and another should uh, you should use the uh -huh. may, make for the the, the the maybe when you uh, don't have clear the the opinion or don't 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 have clear the idea uh, what what the choices you what in you choice um or oh, it's a possibility or probably yeah, um, hmm. for something. Okay. Uh, definitely, uh, we uh, count all of the, the the cell phones, the chip, the what yeah. is the name, the the bus card, well, a scratch card, bus cards, uh, and that in Santa Ana. I have never been in there because always, as for the, uh, I store that is in San Salvador. Yeah, but I I was in in in, in the tears of La and mm -hmm. and then for the Instagram and it's beautiful. What 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 is the Instagram? Um, how uh, how I I find um Llano del Muerto. Llano. Yes, yes. So I I think um I possibly I possibly visit other time this place okay in the future yes next year is um, almost possibility yeah <laughs> yeah uh, when coronavirus is finished yes well, i hope be i hope <laughs> yeah. yeah the other where where is this llano de muerte uh, it's, it's a place. A, it's a place in Morazan. In Morazan, it just is. Yeah. Is I I hear is for the the waterfall and the cabins. Yeah. Yes. The waterfall is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I I um, I was there about eight years ago. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, for for uh, a Easter. For what, Yaller? For uh, in, for Easter, 
Instagram. 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 Ah, uh, yes, for, yes, yes. For Instagram. Instagram. Uh, yes, Instagram. Yes. Instagram. Instagram. Semana Santa. Yes. Uh, um, yeah. Um, visit a claim with a waterfall. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Um, have a little river. I, I'm looking in Instagram in this moment and I see that it's very pretty. Yeah. I, I know, uh, I don't know Morazan. I, maybe I... I don't I, know Morazan either. Never, <laughs> never I went to Morazan. Mm -hmm. But it looks interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, do we have any questions? It's okay, the ideas? We, let's review a little bit. We use may and might for a possibility, okay? This is like a maybe. May and might is like maybe. When you are not sure, you don't know, okay? We use could when it's an option, okay? No is possible, but it's an, one of the options. So as an example, we are going to go tomorrow for lunch, okay? What are the options? Ah, we could go to McDonald's, we could go to Burger King, okay? But these are the options. But if we say maybe, ah, we may go to McDonald's, we might. The idea is that may and might is less than could. Could is normally like when you are giving your opinion and this is one of the options that you like, okay? Then, of course, the one that is a strong possibility, the one that you think or you make your decision is must. We must go for the promotion, for example. We must go in, in, uh, in five people. We must go before five o'clock. Are those okay for everyone? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you my screen and we're going to try using those things that we just have to make sure, okay. You see we have a pictures here. Uh, huh? mm -hmm. We'll make it a little bit bigger to make sure everybody can see it clearly. Oh, it's not too clear, but okay, but maybe for the black, okay. Here is when we use modals, because modals give your opinion, okay? So example number one, look at number one. What does that, what does that expression mean? Um, I think he is trying to say um, that the other person is a, a kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. crazy. This is where we use the modals. With, because the models, the sentence, the other person is crazy is correct, but the model indicate how much or how secure you are with your answer. Uh, it must mean you're crazy. You are very secure. It could mean you are crazy. Mm, you are so, so secure. It may mean, it might mean you are crazy. It's not, not too much. You are not certain. You are not positive. That's how we use the models. Okay, so the sentence, the original sentence Arturo gave is correct, but we add those extra words to indicate how secure we are about our comment, our situation, or whatever we have. Look at number two. Let's try using the models in number two. Anybody can try. She may be calling or, or like that. Yes, Cesar. 
but change maybe. Don't use may okay. and, and use one of the new ones from today. May or might. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she may call me. Correct. Because we use the base form always. That's right. She may call me. Good. Good. What about number three? Who would like to try number three? Definitely, he want to be quiet. So use one of the models. Go ahead. Use one of the models, Arturo. Ah, you you use yeah. an adverb. You you use an adverb, which is correct. Just to everybody, to make sure everybody understands. Arturo used definitely, and in the in the model, what would it be? In the model, um, must. you must. It must. He must. To want to be quiet. <gasps> almost correct the sentence. Almost correct. Somebody help Arturo. He's missing one word. Almost he correct. might be in silence. Mm, okay, that's possible. He might be in silence. But Arturo says they I think he wanted to he must be, but he must I think he said want uh, to be quiet, right? That's that yeah. was your yes. Okay, so I think you were missing he must want me to be quiet yeah. because you always say Shh, to the other person right right or yeah. not not for yourself so there we would use he must want me to be quiet or he must want you to be quiet or another word but we need to have the person who is directed the message to okay what about number four what's number four uh, she might be saying hello Okay. She might be saying hello. He's saying hello. Okay. All right. What about number five? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe what? Go ahead and make the sentence. Maybe he trusts me. Okay, maybe he trusts me. Okay, now don't use maybe and use one of the models, may or might. Might, might. Mm -hmm. It's the same as maybe, only we change for maybe. He might trust me, he may trust me, the same structure, only we eliminate maybe. And what's number six? She might can hear me. Almost correct, but not two times. You can you cannot use two models. You can only use one model. She might or can. Which one? She couldn't hear me. Okay, she couldn't hear me. Ah, that's another one. Exactly. But it's only remember we never mix two, only one. Mm -hmm. Very good. She might hear, she might not be able to hear me. She couldn't hear me. She may hear me, whatever you think. But the purpose of the models is all of them are correct. The purpose is to indicate to the listener what your opinion is, how certain you feel. You feel certain 100%, you think maybe, you think maybe not. This is the idea of the models, for the, for the listener to understand what is your opinion. All right. We are, we are going to pause there, but don't worry. We're going to practice again some more tomorrow, and we're going to be taking a look. Um, if you haven't finished the exam for Unit 3, uh, please complete it as soon as possible. That way you don't accumulate too much uh, back work and too, much, uh, too many lessons. But if you did, congratulations. I'm happy for you. And only seven more classes, and we finish. <laughs> like that. Very quick. Very quick. Very quick. Yeah. Exactly. Very quick. All right. Everybody have a nice night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.